The 158-year-old investment bank Lehman Brothers was on the brink of failure after bailing out Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac the week before and Bear Stearns the previous March. The federal government decided not to rescue Lehman. That decision set off a chain of events which nearly brought the world financial system to a halt. A few days later, insurance giant AIG nearly collapsed and had to be rescued. Credit locked up around the world and financial markets tanked, deepening a recession that had begun 10 months earlier. Treasury Secretary Henry Paulson went to Congress to ask for a $700 billion bailout for the nation's banks. The crisis spurred calls for financial reforms, few of which have been instituted. Joining us for some perspective on the financial crisis and its aftermath is banking analyst Dick Beauvais. Good evening, Mr. Beauvais. Good evening. We appreciate you joining us tonight. Let's go back just a bit. How do we get to the point where we face this horrendous financial crisis? Well, I think, uh, most simply speaking, we had loans growing at rates three times faster than income for a five-year period. And if you keep growing loans at a faster and faster pace than you're growing income, obviously you're going to reach a point where income is not enough to pay the uh, debt service on the loans, and you're going to start to have a collapse. And we had a collapse. Taking a look at what the governments did, the bailouts, et cetera, do you think the government did the right thing at the right time? No, I think the government was, was stretching. It was trying to figure out what was going on in the, in, in the financial system. Uh, it didn't have a real good feel as to uh, how bad or deep the crisis was, and because of that, it let Lehman go. I think if the, if the government understood what, the, what the, uh, the result of letting Lehman go would be, they would not have let that happen. As we discussed, there are calls out there for financial reforms. These calls have been out there for, for some time. Few of these have actually been instituted. Do you think regulation is a good thing at this point? No, I think it's a terrible thing. I think that uh, we, we, are, we are in a situation where either the regulators do nothing or they overreact. And uh, after having done nothing, they're now overreacting. And as a result of overreacting, I think they're going to basically harm the U.S. economy and the financial system. Banking analyst Dick Beauvais, thank you so much for your insight.